Dan. Oh, it's been so long. We've done something and we thought we needed to record it for YouTube history and just so that if anyone wants to murk us, they can let us know. Murk? I don't think anyone murk us. Um, we've done something. We bought wholesale. But roll that back. We haven't. We have and we haven't. Because what we've done is we've bought hand-picked wholesale. So some people um, will buy bundles. Some people will, uh, from wholesale, some people will kind of, um, you can do video kind of picking, so you'll choose different bits and pieces, mm -hmm. or maybe uh, the wholesaler will know the kind of brands or styles you're looking for, single stick band, t-shirts, or whatever it might be. And we said, you know what, if we're going to do it, we're going to go and do it in person. So we went and we picked. So we've hand-picked all these pieces. Now, this is very different from um, a normal uh, wholesale situation, as in, it was um, the prices reflect the pieces that we got, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're going to talk about prices. Uh, I, I don't think it, well, we, I mean, I don't think it's relevant because no. I, I'll be honest. Because you might not pick these pieces. No. And also, th there's reasons we paid certain things for certain yeah. uh, items. I just think there's so, so many to go through price wise. But we can tell you the value. Yes. That's what we can do. Um, but it wasn't cheap, just no. so everyone's aware. It was a four-figure number. I think that's okay. For Multiple four figures. Multiple four you know? figures, okay? Yeah, so don't don't get the impression we've paid 200 quid yeah. dollars. Like, that, that's, that's not why a thing. I, that's why you I wanted to mean? say it. I wanted yeah, no. to say it as in, like, a disclaimer. We're talking thousands, saying, that's it. It wasn't two, 200 quid or anything no. like that. Anyway, so what we're going to do is run through the pieces. We'll talk about the brands. We'll talk about why we picked them. Um, so when you're out thrifting, when you're out um, sourcing, if you're looking online to source, then you... You can sort of pick like have more knowledge to pick yeah yeah of course things. and why we pick them uh, i will say we pick over 80 pieces and there's over 80 pieces here so some of these pieces we might just show you and say boom it's x y and z and move yeah, yeah. on this might be a long video but ideally i like we don't want it to kind of be boring by the same token no also uh was i haven't been on camera for ages so i'm like hyper I'm, aware I, you know when you're hyper aware of like your yeah and i think even more so like we've been doing lots and lots and lots of whatnot and i know everyone's really bored of us talking about whatnot but i'm afraid it's amazing you need to get on if you're not blah 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 links but, in the description <laughs> link in the description but all joking aside um it's so different to talking to a camera we started this like three times now and honestly like for us it's so hard because you're used to kind of trying to what's in the, i keep looking at the camera like there's gonna be a chat back I know, it's strange. Like, the interaction so is just us. you just have to bear with us, because we've been out of the game, guys. We've been out of the game. YouTube what freshies. What I'm also going to say is, this, these are all hand-picked, obviously, from a company that deals in large quantities of items. So, some of these items will need dry cleaning. Oh, yeah, for we'll sure. We'll need hand cleaning. We'll need, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, bear that in mind when you're, even when you're hand-picking from a wholesale place, that it's not just going to be like ready to go in all circumstances. It's not going to no. be like pick it out of a pile and you can hang it in. Sometimes but, that does happen, but... The majority of the time, the way in which it comes into wholesale place, I don't know if anyone's aware or it's not, but it's usually predominantly, they will come from either rag houses or, or um, vast, 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 vast mass of clothing. Like, so you might have one designer piece in like a thousand pieces, which are, which are hand-picked out. So once again, they're not... Um, it would be like the kind of stuff you drop off at a um, like a recycling centre, that kind of thing. And yeah. then you might find one piece if you're lucky. You know, so, it would be that. It's, that, we'll, it's a needle in a haystack. We'll run through them. We'll talk about end value. We'll talk about the pieces, labels, that all kind of, that kind of thing. And then we'll gather ourselves at the end, I guess. There are a lot of items here. So grab yourself a glass of wine, whiskey on the rocks. We don't do tea. Red um, Bull. Coke, Red Bull, juice, water, whatever it is you can you physically going. drink, and we're going to be here. Like I said, we'll try and make it as quick as possible, but I also don't want to be too... Anyway. Yeah. So first up, Moschino. I said that right. King right. of Waves. King of Waves. I like the graphic on this. Um, this Moschino is a, Mayor tag. Yeah, this is a 90s, early 2000s label. Um, pick this based on graphic. The funner the graphic with Moschino, the better. Um, just because of how Jeremy Scott has taken the direction of the company. Jeremy Scott's creative director, he's just left. Um, but he's famous for doing the wild, wild wacky stuff. Indeed. It's a it's a guy on a surfboard with a crown on. They got once again. It's it, it's a great graphic. It's a large. You've got a kind of large spell out. So you're aware of what it is. It's Brand also, recognition is good, which is high at the moment. So that's great. It's also touching on. It's also touching on the whole like uh, Y two K surf era. Yes, surf vibes. The the, the Billabong, the kind of Quicksilver, the O'Neill, all all, all, yeah. all all those things at the moment are kind of real high. So that's a good thing. Too. Eighty to a hundred. Eighty to a hundred. Iceberg, new label Iceberg Ice. This is a collaboration with, uh, I think, Looney Tunes. 
Now, this is Sylvester. They've done Disney as well. They work a lot with cartoons. Iceberg as a company is overlooked a lot. Iceberg was started in the 70s as a knitwear company. So the best stuff you can get from Iceberg is knitwear. And but that vintage. has to be old. Yeah, old. Yeah, it has to be old. However, the Disney stuff does really well, 80 to 100. It depends on the character also. Like, different characters do a, a better than other characters. Once They've again, done Popeye as well. Popeye. They? they have. They've done Looney Tunes. They've done Disney. They've done anything with kind of like a... A, a character style graphic all these whites will be clean that's a like yeah. first off whites get cleaned okay 100 yeah, yeah. and anything which which is kind of like uh leather or suede or silk or they'll so be dry everything cleaned. gets clean yeah everything <laughs> gets clean um iceberg uh 2000s label this parrot oh, i haven't been able to identify this parrot yet we've been through this stuff obviously because we have jewels here it, but it's fully embroidered and i know it's from something it's from something, so it's Shut in the comments if you know. I don't know if it's Disney, I don't know if it's, like I say, mm. it's obviously a character from something and they do lots of these teas, but yeah. this is embroidered, whereas the other ones were printed, so if you can shut in the comments Peter, if you know the character. I want to say Peter Pan, but I just don't write, no, I don't write. I, will, I, I might have put some kind of, are we putting any, are we going to put any, we're not yeah, going to put we're going to groove it up, maybe we'll put some labels in. Yeah, I'm not going to do it for every item for obvious reasons, but like, for example, if we worked out what this guy is, yeah. um, by the time we release it, I'll let you know. Uh, Valentino, a lot of this is Italian design. This is vintage Valentino, okay? Vintage, vintage. Vintage Valentino. This is, uh, I picked it mainly on shape style, so it's a mid length denim skirt. We're going yeah. into the springtime, so this kind of looks gonna come back in. The mod wife, mob wife era is upon us and there's nothing that says mob wife better than a pencil, denim pencil skirt in the summer. There's Look not. at the V button, have you seen a V button? If we're too quick, we apologise. We used to, like, it's a whatnot sense of sense of being. It is. It is. Um, I'm going to list these denims. Oh, and here on this, the buttons here as well. I'm going to list these for 150 a piece. Bestiaire is going to be our best friend in this instance um, because it's a more specialised marketplace and there's more eyes on the product looking specifically for these pieces. Obviously, we we cross this. So it be it will they will be everywhere. Moschino jeans. Nine skirts. Yeah, once again, a lovely piece. Look at the button. Early 2000s, 90s. Uh, once again, another great shape. Denim, slightly bigger size as well with the back patch. Yeah. It's just a great piece. Denim as well. We feel really passionately about denim um, as a thing. We're going to do a denim video, aren't we, Austin? We are indeed. Roberto Cavalli. <laughs> Main label. Roberto Cavalli gets looked over way too much. Look Roberto at print. Cavalli. And then once again, the wilder the better. But this, I thought, it, it bridged the gap between being both crazy and being subtle it kind of has like a ghosted leopard black print yeah. it's a uh, it's just really, really nice it's thing. also got that utility link the double pocket the shoulder thing yeah it's very like giovanni versace isn't it like very in, much in so the, in the 90s um so oh i haven't done prices so denim skirts are 100 to 150 yeah uh, the berto cavalli 170 um valentino vintage piece I like to pick up these. I find when we're doing wholesale, well, not when we're doing wholesale, I find when in general wholesale, um, they get a lot of streetwear pieces, a lot of contemporary, yeah. like, you know, what I call, what I would call depop pieces. So Very when I so. find these bridge, these gap bridges that would be um, equally worn by, like, a business a woman. Or, or, yeah, exactly that. Um, you can style it. It's got a nice bit of tailoring look to it. You know what I mean? It, can, it kind of crosses both boundaries. And when you're thinking about buying fashion in general, especially to resell, obviously for resell purposes, I would think about that. If something's popular, whether it's a style, whether it's a shape, whether it's a cut, whether it's a colour, or then obviously it can cross borders, like Bethany said. So whether it's a 19-year-old hipster or it's a lady in office at 45, yeah. it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? More denim. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana, this is early 2000s. The Anne label. I call it the Anne label because it's got a big and on it. Like an uh, indigo denim on this one with a red indigo. stitch. Yeah, the contrasting stitch I really like on this. You've got the side tab there. It's a pencil, another pencil skirt, I think. I like the, the, I like the flat front, no, but, uh, no uh, pockets on this, which is really nice, which Last actually is quite year. a... Uh, Go on, sorry, what? Uh, button down midis are in, in terms yes. of denim. So I'm, so I'm the banking making. on a, a sort of knee length situ this summer. Indeed. Okay, star piece, star piece. Okay, denim, we know denim, 100 to 150. This, this is, is versus, versus by Versace, but it's on the 90s, early 2000s label. Later on, Versus was kind of known as a, like a, a kind of, if you want, a slightly cheaper diffusion line of Versace. Um, the year this came out, it was actually the more contemporary looking kind of, they took it away from the kind of bar classic Baruch 
to the kind of like it gives you the label there and obviously you've got the giovanni yeah. in this here signature which is where the money so is so this is a special piece from the perspective shape we're looking at shape here okay. we're looking at the color vibrancy all the buttons have got medusa head i could that. take all the buttons off this and sell the buttons for a hundred pounds yeah um it's fully lined you've got the statement collar velvet i did say velvet and it's cropped. patterned cropped all the buttons there when you're doing wholesale cropped we sleeves. learned very quickly we from past experience that condition condition is everything mm. so make sure you're looking at your pieces even when you're hand picking just like be aware does that make sense yeah i think listen from from our point of view we buy lots we sell lots um that's just how we are but what i would say is if you're going in and you're buying maybe 10 pieces make sure those 10 pieces are pristine because obviously if you're buying 80 there's a little bit more leeway if one or two are a little bit kind of i guess naughty than you wanted them to be in the law of averages you're still going to do very well but from our point of view that jacket 300 300 one jacket you know 300 so then i wish we started by saying this you know this was kind of thousands this this whole bundle cost you know thousands i would actually say even this jacket at 300 we, have, we haven't even done like 10 percent yet and it, it, we're kind of in the hundreds i think it's very important to uh, to note as well for us we have a specialist customer base so this stuff uh, that we have picked it on this occasion I know I have a customer base for. If yeah. you're just if you're uh, buying luxury to like retail, Depop, eBay, whatever, um, our margins might be slightly inflated to a, a normal margin. Mm -hmm. Firstly, because we use multiple platforms, we use Vestiaire, we use eBay, we use Depop, and whatnot. In in certain cases, obviously, and whatnot. <coughs> Sorry, I've got chest. Um, so, firstly, we've widened our market four times, but it our customer base that like our repeat customers etc so on forth so forth look for this stuff from us if you've never sold luxury before or if you're like dabbling your feet in you the the margin profit might be lower so keep that in mind what we say is fits for our customer and our knowledge basis and how we can place the items also also yeah to be honest with you yeah, let's take it back even further than that your basic business if you're looking to kind of get in get out I'll be honest, most of these pieces aren't for you. This will not sell unless you sell it for you know a lot less than it's worth. This will not sell overnight. Um, from our point of view, what we want to sell it for, it will sell quickly. But for what, what, for what we want to sell it for, it may take three, four weeks, five weeks. But it'll be well worth it when it sells. And because we've been doing this for a long time, to be quite frank, we can afford to, to sit on it and wait. And in some circumstances, I want it in, I want it out. There are some pieces, like the, the pieces we handpick and like the pieces we go and buy um, kind of ones and twos of i would for sure say i have no problem waiting so that's something to think about if you're looking like i say for a quick win some of these pieces will be for you some of them won't be so just bear that in mind as well as regards costings but if we go a bit slower i'm trying to explain sorry my bad yeah. no no I, I feel like we're going fast because of what not um we can make this a two part which we might have to um i feel like if we explain roughly where we're picking things up then it, it might be helpful so this is kenzo this is a 90s jeans label with the wave let me just show you that um yeah beautiful beautiful label um the reason then we picked this out firstly shape style obviously it's given everything the floral print always popular oh, is denim me. so nigo's just taken over kenzo's creative director i say just it's been a couple of seasons now nigo is responsible for baby Nate, human made he's also one of the biggest collectors in the world of vintage denim and he works very and looks very closely at denim in new collections mark my words denim from kenzo is going to be massive he also so works very very uh, closely with pharrell and did do on um, pharrell's latest kind of wild west uh louis yeah. vuitton show so to be uh be picking up denim archive denim pieces vintage denim pieces mm. I'm telling you, denim from Kenzo is where it's going to be at in the next couple of years. And that's why when we say sometimes we're explaining why we pick these pieces up, to most people, great, it's a Kenzo denim dress. Okay, yeah. let's just get out the door. That might not be the case with that. Also, it's really important to differentiate, the fa differentiate from the fact that that is not a Tiger t-shirt. No, yeah. It's a, it's a vintage nothing, nothing, Kenzo nothing, nothing, nothing piece. Nothing wrong with selling it or No, buying, but the margins are different because they produce so much more of the Kenzo t-shirt, of the um, Tiger t-shirt or the eye t-shirt. I would go as far as to say most people know Kenzo in actual fact, kind of in more more uh, recent times for that t-shirt alone or that sweater alone. Vintage Moschino, Moschino jeans in a white button fly. Which is terrifying. Really nice condition, which is terrifying when you're, when you're hand-picking because once again, they will probably be a mark or a stain at some point. These were pretty clean, I can't lie, but once again, a great light. They're like a kind of a light chino, they're not a, they're not a denim. 150. Easily one fifty. The Kenzo dress a bit more one at one seven five one eighty. Um, these are just rough estimates. I haven't actually, I haven't actually sat down and done my 
Lose cotton off by um, what actual I would, looking at things. Yeah, what I would sense. say as well is well, these prices, by all means, um, like for a lot of people, I know that prices vary a lot. And once again, as I said, would depend on what you're going to do with it, if how quickly you want to get rid of it. I say get rid, I mean sell it. Um, but for us, with this, this was bought on the basis we wanted to kind of always want to sell it. But I have no, I have no, I have no wants to get rid of it, should we say, quickly. And these pieces I picked because, or we picked because we wanted to, uh, to, to actually sell them. Jean Paul These Gautier. are beautiful. Look at those back pockets. Look at the shape of the pockets. Uh, 2000s jeans with the back patch, the pockets. Ah. Um, when you're looking JPG, at... if you want to make it easier yeah, on yourself. Everyone's saying JPG. We're because going... no one wants to say Jean Paul Gautier. We're going into the J -J -J -P -J -J -P -G. JPG. These, actually, I d something has happened to the cuffs of these. This is something to keep in mind when yeah. hand-picking. We were aware of this because we check when we do jeans. Jeans. We check buttons, zip, cuffs, right? Because if there's a little bit of distress in the legs, we, you know, we yeah, can yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, just denim. Um, but something's happened. Someone's taken these up. I think they folded them in. Yep. But then they've got wear on the fold up. So if you were to, for example, let me just show you quickly what Bethany means, is these have been kind of um, folded, like Bethany just said, folded yeah. and stitched in here. And then steam flat. The problem is now, if they were if they were perfect condition, there was no one thing on the edge. You could unpick that, re-steam them, and maybe apart from a fade, you would have a problem. But these are frayed on the edge, so if you were to unpick them, you'd have you'd have a line of the denim yeah. which was just frayed and looked silly. So you'll have to keep them like that. On the flip side, the, they the look good cool. thing, I was going to say the good thing for us is cropped uh, jeans, cropped trousers, cropped everything is very in at the moment. So the length of that leg is no problem. Really. So we would declare that what, what's happened, but there's still such big value on Jean Paul Gaultier that you, you're still going to get plus 100 on them. Easily. Regardless. Easily. Um, so that's what we went in. We went in with a mindset because we knew it was going to be higher prices because it was handpicked and luxury. Uh, that it has to be a minimum return of a hundred pound a piece. Yeah, there there will be no, like don't get me wrong. There will be there will be some room. There will be some wiggle room. Um, uh, and we, you we, can we, do we some might... quick maths there. Eight, eight, eighty plus items, maybe eighty five items times a hundred pound. That no. was the mindset. Okay? There you go. These are just by Roberto Cavalli. I don't pick up every piece of just by Roberto Cavalli, um, only if it mimics full line Roberto yes. Cavalli. Um, uh, this is this is very 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 low. Let me out with you. Can yeah, show thank it. you. This is a very very low uh, waist. You can see kind of like like what I would call the two thousands. Where um, I'll be honest, that's a, that's a kind of that's a peep show right there now. And it's got a pony zipper. Ask no questions. There is a pony on the zip. Um, Fabulous. Either way, these are once again these are Y two K Cavalli. Um, they're a real real nice thing. The shape, even even if you look at this, to follow the shape. Ever so slightly flared, nothing crazy, but ever so slightly flared out the whole jean. Great back pockets. Uh, the, you have that kind of like that, that that flat pocket, which was kind of like, they don't have them here because once again, this wouldn't fit on your waist. It would be lower than that. So they just have these kind of flat, if I can show you these flat pockets here, which once again, they don't actually work. They're kind of, they're, they're false pockets, but that's what they're for or to look like. And then you have the kind of the strap in there. Real nice pair of jeans. Retail, um, or we'd resell them for, I should say, resale. 100, 120. Once again, let's go. Next one. We've been selling a lot on Depop recently in terms of this design and stuff. Versus by Versace, these are a bit uh, these are a bit newer than what we just showed you with this label. Yeah. So this is an older label. This is a uh, 90s, early, early 2000s with Giovanni on it. These are a newer example. So these are later 2000s. Um, but the the Look style, so these are very like, uh, should I say it, bondage? I want to say um, like, I want to say like, uh, yeah, bondage. Rock, rock, rock Like Michael roll. Jackson, the bad video. Yeah. With the zippers they, and the studs. They've got all like glam rock, like rock, rock chick style. And they're also like, um, like a jersey, like a felted jersey. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a, a felted wool, you're right. Made in Italy, um, really, really nice condition. Even this, like just the weight of this. That's like way easier than like most Pandora bracelets. Yeah, you know it, I mean? it, the whole thing, like these these technically appear of what I'd call kind of just cotton trousers and they are, they're very, very heavy. Uh, once again, just a, a great thing to find because it's something that, it's not just a plain pair of trousers with a label on, no. that's the key. Picked up this, um, picked up this based on size. It's Pull and Shark, we pick up a lot of Pull and Shark anyway, but I just thought it'd be a nice easy return if I'm honest. This has probably got the least return on it, um, but I thought it'd be an easy return. It's got the buttons on the side. It's a men's double XL. 
Yep. So she's a good size. And once again, we say, you know, we're looking at a kind of, you know, X amount on each item. Uh, even at an average, I mean, even if this was half that, you know, we're looking to soak that up somewhere else. And we'll show you some items which are a lot, lot, lot more than £100. So I think it, oh, yeah. it, it just kind of works that way for us, you know. But once again, great piece and a great brand to sell. This one has actually got a mark on it. I'm going to have this one dry clean, but I thought it was too good to leave behind. Most it's, people probably would have left it behind, but it sounds funny. There's a lot of people on Instagram who are really good at stains or stain removal. I know. And I, and I, would, actually, <laughs> I would actually say, after after being around clothes and and um, especially pre-owned and used clothes for so long, most people, if you're any good at buying clothes, you can see if you think it'll come out or not. Like you know, if it's an obvious bleach stain, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah. or a stain which, or ink, for example, which you can probably get up, but it's a long, long, long process as opposed to just a mark. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, Miss Only Sport, I'm a big Miss Only fan. I think look Miss Only is very underrepresented. When it comes to buying vintage Miss Only, there's two rules. Logo, knit. Those are the two rules. It has to have a logo or it has to be a knit. Um, just look because at, look, look of the, shape. the market. But the shape on this is stunning. It's like a smock, but it's not as a shirt. It's also a hidden, you can see the kind of fade it's got there. It's also hidden buttons. Yeah, uh, 120, 120. Uh, quick, this is just a quick, quick, quick. Early 2000s, Burberry. Uh, reason for picking this up is that the patches on the shoulders, yep. the patches on the shoulders are felted wool in the Nova check. So that is a no brainer for me. I don't particularly like selling red jumpers because I don't think it's the most like in vogue thing, a red jumper. Yeah, no, I like, you know but once me? again, what does make it is not just there's Nova check, but it's a wool Nova check. Yeah. So easy one is value in that. Well, easy 150. Dolce & Gabbana, early 2000s. Look at this. Like, I'm talking Paris Hilton. When The first time you ever saw a picture of Kim Kardashian next to Paris Hilton in a club. Absolutely wasted. This is what you're seeing. I'm ahead of the times. These go very easily. These are, There's a lot of these lists Full of Dolce. Depop for 100. Uh, very Paris Hilton. Very... Little, uh, hit on the back as well. Yeah, so that's a like quick, quick, quick. Uh, Over-engineered Levi's. Austin's really into denim. Yeah, I've, so I've been picking a lot of denim lately. Some Levi's. And you know what? You say that I've been in the denim, but the, the, anything I get into, I get into like in a serious way. So all of a sudden, I'm researching and, and like just enjoying it. And the things we have picked up, we've done really well on. So, so this is need a wash, but it's an over-engineered um, Levi's. Um, Boom. Mid two thousands. Yeah, mid two thousands denim I'll jacket. Show you, I'll show you a few pieces later as well, which uh, once again are from this bundle which are real, real nice, or are quite rare actually now, 2,000 pieces of Levi's. Sorry if this video is like the most hectic thing you've ever watched, but we're getting back into it, guys, so just give us some breathing space. And I think, to be honest, it may have to be a part one, part two, because there's a lot of it. We'll see. Uh, so what we do. This? Vintage Val Valentino, Valentino, Valentino jeans, large, made in Italy. We basically picked up any anything denim. If you go into any high street shop at the moment, it's denim, 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 denim. That's like that Mario joke. Yeah. Denim, denim, denim. Um, but this is gorgeous. It's got the classic V logo on it, which they revitalise. It's on belts, it's on t-shirts, it's on... Do you know, I just realised, I keep thinking, when like you stop talking or I stop talking, which happens yeah. very rarely, there's nothing, there's no music in the background and it's so strange. Right, we can run through those ones quickly, so do that one. Um, so this is another Anne Dolce Gabbana. I picked it up on style, uh, mid 2000s denim western shirt. This is literally a what not video. Yeah. Chill it out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, with the over exaggerated collar. Maybe it's good though because I'm over describing things so for people to look out for. Because anyway, a lot of the times our videos are at this point, at this point, has been kind of charity shopping and saying, "Yes, I need this as a brand X, Y, and Z." Yeah. So maybe we're giving you a bit more like the stylistically why we pick things yeah. up. Style, Western style in this sort of like a uh, thinner chambray style denim on the and early two thousand Dolce and Gabbana label, really good condition, good men's size. Um, 150. Heavyweight as well, no? Yes. Okay, we've got quite a few of these, so I'll just run through these quickly. Uh, Burberry Brit, Nova Check, uh, regular kind of fitting shirt. We have uh, men's and we have ladies, Nova Check uh, lined. Great, always great sellers for us. We do them on Bestier, we do them on eBay. Yeah, so um, how many have we got? So we've got, we've got the navy one. We've got the teal. I've got the teal. We've got the black. I've got the black. We've got Let the navy. Another navy, different so cut. So that's four. Yep, is four. It? Four of those. So four at hundred pound a piece. We're on four hundred back for those. And run, loads of denim. We'll run quickly through some denim, hey. Yep, come on then. Well, let me just let me get rid of the hanger. Old lady. <laughs> Old lady. Uh, Masoni jeans made in Italy. This is nice. It's got back 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 embroidery. You got you got to take my you got to take my steam, haven't you? 
Sorry. You got the Italian uh, Moschino logo there from the 90s, and then you got the speller on the back there. I can't read it because it's backwards, but I think yeah. It says I'm summer. No, in summer. In well, summer. Either way, great fade, great thing. And once again, these look like that. Looks, I'm summer. <laughs> that looks it doesn't exactly look the most inviting thing there. Once this is steamed and washed and taken care of, it'll be a totally different thing. Look after your pieces, you know? guys. When you get pieces, steam them, wash them. Like you, look after I guarantee your piece and your piece you. Look after you. <laughs> I guarantee you get double the percent revenue if you just steam something instead of being well, pre-cooked on the wall. I mean, like look at that. Like we'll do it before and after, eh? On yeah, maybe I will. Dolce & Gabbana, <laughs> mid-2000s label, once again, another great denim piece, double pocket, short sleeves, unisex. We've got some cool pieces coming up. Uh, another Iceberg. Iceberg. Great, great vintage. This is an awesome vintage label, too. Iceberg jeans. I think this is 80s label. I'm not an Iceberg expert. I do know it is fantastic, though. Uh, this is summer. It's got summer it's on it. It's definitely early 90s, if nothing else. Style. It's a really oversized shirt you could wear as a dress. You could wear it as a shirt. You could tie it. You could clip like, it. You it's could a big it. shirt. Like, it's yeah. a great shirt. Um, yeah. 180 to 200 on that one. Uh, Versace jeans. Bought a lot of denim. <laughs> Bam! These are giving Britney Spears, baby, hit me one more time on the mid 2000s label. Um, fully, Steady throughout. Just fully rhinestoned all the way down the legs. Obviously, check for rhinestone loss when you're Cuffs. in the trenches. I know it's a horrible job, but someone's got to check for those rhinestones. That's kind of your job, though, if you're a reseller, no? Rhine I was thinking about it the other day, and every now and then I think about it, and I'm like, I'm in a trash shop or I'm in a vintage shop, whatever, and I'm like, oh, I just don't want to do that rail. She just go, I, I've had enough. Your job is to look <laughs> yeah. through rails in shops. And find things. You are so lucky. Look through the rails. Yeah, like, that, if, that's the worst, if that's the worst part of your day... You're winning. Come One, on, guys. Think about it. 170. There's a lot of people doing a lot of things they hate out there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're lucky people. All of us are. Blessed. Blessed we are. Prada. Chinos. Uh, jean style. Kind of like a waxed chino. Navy. Great condition. 170. Boom. Let's go. Next one. Uh, these are just... This is a nice piece, but you won't be able to see it unless it's steamed. So it's a mosh... A smoshkino on a full label. Uh, 90s, 80s. But the whole bottom is like... Can you see that? Yep. On screen, it's yep. like it comes in on itself. It's kind of elasticated to a point, like it comes, kind of comes in. So as much as you, obviously that stretch you can get in there, it's kind of, it's supposed to look like a, a like a, a bowl shape almost. Also, I guess. the shoulders, very are, fashion. The shoulders are padded in this, so don't be don't put off just by basics because chic, chic, chic. Well, you might think of this basic where you see it just a black. Um, um, Masoni, I was going to say Moschino mm, yeah. top, but it's not actually that. This Full is label. the label they did reintroduce this label, so but this is the original. That's vintage. This is a killer. This Moschino jeans, uh, early two thousands. They did mad prints thanks to Jeremy Scott and even you know, even before that. Banana Moschino have always been known for like pop culture. They've done a thousand collabs and anything with large prints, which are kind of look remotely cool. Get it? Just get it. Real yeah, nice piece, especially on older labels. We'll put that to the side and we'll show that at the end. No, we'll show that at the end. It's a special one. This is really cool. So this is once again another Moschino piece. Moschino jeans. What's cool about this is. It's like a like kind of a baby tee style. It's like it's a, it's a larger fit uh, v, v neck, mm -hmm. but it's um, it's made of the same uh, lycra. Like it's literally lycra. Skims. Um, so it's very skims vibes. And once again, a nude large logo, which obviously has, has been popping off the last couple of years now and still very popular for a lot of people. Uh, that one, about one fifty. Yeah, because it, it can be worn by lots of. I'll just run this people. way. You doing that? Oh, I don't yeah, know. you ready? This is another uh, vintage um, Kenzo. It's on Kenzo Wave, which I assume is their cruise wear or like um, summer I love, wear. I love, I, love, I love the shape and the cut of this. It's, it's a not, shirt it's, it's, dress. It looks like it's handmade. Honestly, I can't explain it to it's you. It's really super thin and it's got, we've got uh, fishes, we've got lotus flowers, we've got bamboo, we've got the whole shebang and it's on like a oversized shirt dress. Once again, like the styling opportunities, and I know it sounds like silly, but if you know different ways to wear different things and you keep up with like popular like, culture. Even, and, even like belted, like you say belted yeah. or, you know what I mean? With you a big can, chunky necklace. You expand your customer base. If you could only wear this with jeans, then you've got to find someone who only wears jeans. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not. 200. I, I think that's one of the main things I'd say as well, which a lot, a lot of resellers don't talk about enough. Um, is your customer base. Maybe we'll do a video at some point because for us it's taken years and years oh, and years and years and years. Podcasty. Yeah, maybe we'll do a podcast on it. New podcast podcast coming soon. Loading. Um but because we're lucky enough to be at the point now that we do have things are there are things already in here I've already placed because when I bought them I bought them with a the person in mind. So 
just kind of think about that more. I know that's a little bit harder on eBay or Depop. Repeat custom. But if you say to yourself, okay, well, my customer is X or my customer is Z or, oh, I'm going to do Z and X, but I know how to style those people. It just might help you in future. Re repeat customers come from consistency in yep. stock, in styles, in brands. It also comes from branding, marketing, um, awareness of your brand. Like, oh, I recognize that logo. That's, that's I know, Canadian Tees. Like, I know yeah. I bought from them before. They're really good. We do all the time. Uh, quality. So quality of packaging, quality of product, quality of customer service. Like, and listen, they roll it all into one. They, they, well, we're nervous of robots. Sometimes you, you have the you have a situation in, um, in reselling where the transaction doesn't go according to plan. So be it. Wipe your mouth, move on, make sure that customer ends up being happy or do your best to make them happy. And unless they're really unreasonable, in which case you do what you have to do. But the truth is to keep your customers happy is one of the biggest things you can do. 80s, Giovanni Versace. I'm okay. I wasn't waiting with this. No way it's in okay. the world, Austin. It's okay. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just you know. Giovanni but... Versace. Once again, great label. Great label, made in Italy. She's just a basic. She's a little like. So like, explain this though. Pencil so, situ. Because you know what? It's great to pick up jazzy pieces. It's great to pick up uh, beautiful big couture pieces. But people wear skirts. They do. There's so many people in the world that wear a skirt, and they would wear this and want to pair this with the jazzy green. Yeah situation 100%. and they want a full set from the same designer or you just got a chic babe you've got a chic babe that wants to wear this or a white shirt and a pair of heels or, 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 or perhaps someone was gonna was gonna buy a blue skirt from maybe cos or zara yeah. and they can spend a little bit more and get a vintage piece from uh, gianni versace uh, it's just how it is um 200 because of this label because of this label so this is vintage moschino jeans from the early 90s on that label look at the, <gasps> look, look at this heart pocket <laughs> Look at that, that's Love special. Piece of Moschino. Th this logo, they use it a thousand times over, but anytime you see this on denim, and like I showed you the white, the white kind of chinos as well earlier, it's either early 2000s or late 90s. Um, and once again, just depends on the tags then as well. But there you go, corduroy skirt, just a real nice zip, uh, great buttons. 180 because of fabric and... and this uh, is a nice piece. This is all right, I think this was this was Like a basic right, polo. Yeah. Basic polo. Don't pick up a lot of polos unless they have give me reason. And What's one the reason? reason I have to buy polos. Hermes. Hermes made in Italy. Hermes polo, super lightweight. Nice little H hit on the pocket there. So this is a good. Embroidery. This is a good. Um, oh God, this is a good um, learning lesson because most of the time weight equals quality, especially in modern t-shirts, etc. I agree, yes, yes, yes. This is the most lightweight thing you've ever touched because it's a breathable polo. Indeed. So you can't really always apply it. It's got the shell buttons on the Hermes, Hermes yep. tag. Um, and even hem. And a little H. These retail are four to 600. Um, I'd put that up at two to see where we Like with some of these things, I'm just gonna show you quickly because people will see like a cotton polo and be like, okay, but there's an MS to charge like five, 600 quid now, maybe a little bit more for a cotton polo. Like if you just fold over the, the shirt, for example, this is like you get a normal polo. If you get up close, this is cubed. The what weave here is cubed because once again, and this isn't, this is lined, ribbed. But this bottom half, the reason it's cubed is because where you fold it, they know that's going to wear harder. So the cube, that's a double, basically, that's a double um, embroidery method as opposed to a single, just kind of vertical there. And they've done that, like I say, because they know that's going to be bended and folded and worn more. So it's things like that. When you talk about uh, luxury brands or high-end brands, that's what you're paying for. It will last a lot longer. Go! Valentino, 90s. Navy blazer, all intents and purposes, is beautiful. We've got some silk, silk piping along the edge. Star, star things about this. Beautiful the, buttons. The buttons are just to die for. You ain't replacing these in a heartbeat. And also on this, this jacket, on the pocket, on the pocket, you've got the V, the very contemporary V logo, which they revisited. Remember again, guys, if you see something like this, there's absolutely trash in a charity shop or wherever you are, boot sale, whatever it might be, vintage store or wholesale. If you see something like that, and it's like you, you, there's a price on it, which is ridiculous, but you're like it's ruined. Buy it and cut the buttons off. Those buttons are worth whatever we paid for that jacket easily. The, the, the market for high end, specifically luxury, vintage and used buttons is madness. 350. 350. This is, these are just special. Look Took at this. Look at this for a shape. Oh, these, these, these are, are beautiful. These are really special. Paper bag, waist, wide leg. 
90s salt and pepper they're giving me. Yeah, they do, yeah. Here's that label again for you. So vintage Kenzo. Kenzo. Kenzo denim, guys. Look at it. It's amazing. Kenzo denim, 200. Iceberg, that's the iceberg. This is a 90s label. Let me get 80s. 80s, 90s label. Yeah. Let me cough. It's the time of year, guys. It's time it's of year. It's starting, it's coming. <coughs> <coughs> Hope everyone out there has been good. We haven't been on for a while, so we appreciate you sticking by us and you're still here. So thank you. We do appreciate you. Um, Look at it. I feel like we'll get 100 views for this video, but that's okay. That's fine. Guys. And every, every single person of that 100, we appreciate you. It's awesome. Uh, vintage 80s, 90s iceberg on the cream denim with the gold belted. studding. She's belted. She is beautiful. Look at the stud work. She's I love the fact that the hardware is gold and silver. She's given the streets of New York in the 90s. Like, you're not right. messing with this gal. Have you seen the bat, the bat logo? Boom. Oh, do, damn. Do, do you know this lady here is at a bar, right? I'm with about. this with a leather skirt, right? No, you're not, because she's scary. <laughs> and she is running things. 300. As a sick jacket. 300 bucks. JP. G <laughs> Jean Paul Gaultier back at it again. Uh, Jean Paul Gaultier on the early 2000s label. This is just like one of those like long sleeve jersey polo situs with the uh, Jean John Jean. It's Jean not Paul just Gaultier. Jean Paul Gaultier, uh, but she's corseted on the back. Like so, you can kind of cinch this whole thing and instantly make it just a lot more kind of like we say like a corseted. 150. Um, just to just tell you as well, anything uh, Jean Paul Gaultier. Like at the moment, like in general, it's just a boom, 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 boom time um, for anything old or new from Jean Paul Gaultier. Uh, we were talking earlier, we did a coat um, recently, 400, 450 quid? Was it 400 on Depop, 450 quid. On tenner. Depop, paid a tenner. Um, but what I would say is they've, they've, they've lots of designers and um, fashion houses have recently done collabs with Jean Paul Gaultier. I think Balmain were one as well. Uh, uh, Simone, they, Simone Rocher just did one. Simone um, Rocher did one as well. Balmain, Oliver. Roustan, yeah, Olivier. Um, so what I'm saying is, it's being not only Jean Paul Gaultier isn't just classic and will always sell his own stuff, but it's being revitalized by the whole kind of Y2K early 2000s movement. So be aware of that brand because anything you can buy, honestly, even the perfume bags will sell. APC, we bought this quick sale, um, great, great graphics, 60 quid. So once again, that's a lower one, but it will be compensated for by everything else. This is um, a beau, Clark. Miss Only Sport, 90s, 80s. Look at that print. So cool. And it says Miss Only Sport all along the bottom. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. That's a long dress. Line. It's a drawn line, line dress. Yeah. Um, How one, much? 180, what 200. That's an absolute animal. Yeah, I think I think it's mine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sniffing as well. Yeah, I've been no, for a long time, you know. And we talk really fast now, like we've adapted our voice or our, our voices. But you got a, a lot. A lot of people complained that I, we always used to talk over each other. We spoke too. Or I spoke oh, too fast. You are now. in trouble now, guys. Versace jeans couture, newer piece, but she's fully studied, really heavy. Um, she studied all along the collar. She's studied all along the arm, and then the cuffs are also studied. You've got the Versace uh, Medusa head buttons as well. Um, just a black shirt, but a nice easy 100, 110. On our Instagram recently, I think we put a post up about a piece from <laughs> uh, Vetements. And this one is special. Vetements 2017 uh, Runway. It's also a collab piece. This does need some tender loving care. Someone has dropped their like mimosa down here. Yeah, vibes. Yeah, so we do need to wash it. But these are selling for free 50 um, It literally, when you find pieces like this in bundles and in wholesale, etc., this could have happened in transit this could have yep. happened at any point yep. so we don't know if it's a stain or or uh dirt at this once point. again this is this is a champ on a champion these are collabs so um anything from betman's is just crazy money did you say you found this online the this exact runway, one runway 2017 runway 350 pounds resale resale that's resale. our price uh retail was at 1120 dollars wow dollars uh, Hermit Lang, Hermit Lang, I always say his name wrong, don't at me. Helmet, Helmet, Helmet. Just, just, just keep going. Just Helmet? keep going, Toots. Helmet, Helmet, Helmet. Say it, say it. Say Helmet it. Lang. Yeah. When you say it first, it's so fast, it sounds like you're saying Helmet. Me, so it sounds like I'm saying Helmet. 
How it lang? We'll put the logo for this one because uh, it's hard to see. <laughs> Men's cargo pants. I'm guessing most of you guys will know these brands. So once again, there's not a lot of kind of brand recognition. Oh yeah, they're not you. really like like new Niche. brands. Maybe iceberg. Maybe iceberg. Anyway, these are great. I love selling these. 150 pounds. These normally go on Depop, especially the cargo style. Don't be afraid to sell higher luxury on Depop. There is a huge market. A streetwear. Um, higher luxury, Y two Cray, unbranded Y two Cray. The Y two Cray. Cray. The reason I say that about the brands is this: this video is more kind of information on or in depth on those brands and on those pieces from the brands. I just wanted to show you what we got. Yeah. Okay. This is Prada. This is uh, Alinea Rossi this or Redline. Think again, actually, for a second. This is this is a four thousand pound coat. This was found at a hand pick wholesale center. I mean, it wasn't cheap. But... Uh, this needs totally debobbling and it needs, uh, not debobbling, sorry, it needs linting. So it has multiple different furs, uh, multiple different linings. Uh, it has wool. Shell. It, it, it has, uh, definitely has um, in the uh, padded areas, it has down. It's just a massive, massive piece. It has leather. It has, like Bethany said, it has shell. It's a massive, 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 it's iconic product piece. It's a £4,000 coat. You know, it's beautiful. Uh, £4,000 coat. Um, probably probably go for around about a thousand pound yeah i'm gonna list it for i think there's another one listed for eight i think i'm gonna list it for eight and see what happens uh this needs a wash but i know it's good it's a size small early 2000s burberry anything with a little nova check situation we we purchase especially these like baby tees like super cute with really like nice. a high rated jean. And the fact you, like you say, you have the Nova check right throughout is just nice. 180 to 100. These are like my favorite vintage uh, Versace uh, label to buy. I just think 90s. that's so Versace. This is Jeans Couture 90s Versace. These are full suede jeans. And when I say suede, they're like so heavy. That's not velvet, that's proper suede. Uh, these these are a real special piece. How much? Uh, 2250 at least we've sold jeans uh regular black jeans in denim from from this label from this era so remember that one also just quickly as well sorry i'm going to show you in here you have the v you see oh yeah the v. yeah the v the v fendi fendi jeans 2000s i've already found one of these it's a bodysuit so it has the it's literally oh, i actually might try this on might look cute anyway it's got the bodysuit like pop a bit probably shouldn't know it's, it's fine uh pop a bit it's got fendi jeans all the way down there's another one listed for 225 i'll probably match it because ours is better condition uh with the with the square neck little body situation this is so wearable in this time yeah tucked really... into jeans in a skirt blazer like that's uh, like that's just so cool very um, skims vibes and 90s this, this is a uh, Versace collection, newer label, lot newer label, but these to me sell it. Like you have the metal kind of Do you producer not think heads. This looks like Jennifer Lopez. Look at the body though. You have the kind of body shape with yeah. this, you know. So this is the the tummy there. Yep. And then there are hips, and then you yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Your, your jugglers. Yep. Um, what a vibe! Great color, great elasticity. So much so you just flung off the two, hanger. Two fifty, three hundred. And once again, anything metal hardware, no, ma no matter the sub brand for Versace, that instantly, especially the Medusa head, will give you extra value and extra money if you're looking to sell. This is my favourite Versace label at me. This is my favourite Versace label. Giovanni, 90s. 80s. Yeah, that's my favourite too. That's oh. why. Do you know why that's your favourite? It's the most money in that one. I love it. Um, it's got all this denim piece of all the Medusa heads all down it. I might try this one on. It's all like a Western vibe. Look at it, like, oh, even I'm here. Gonna, it Look at the fade, like, can you see that fade? Like, so that's kind of originally how it was. Do you think I need it? What? Look at it with my outfit in there. Possibly, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Once again, guys, try not to get high on your own supply, but if you do every now and then, ah, who cares? 180. This is a banger. Love this. Now, this is my, my, my opinion, this coming soon, so watch yourselves, guys. Just Cavalli. The year 2000, Y2K has been going like hard for a long, long time and will eventually come to the end. After we had the 80s, then went to the 90s, then we did the 2000s, that's the vintage. Coming up soon, you will have the 2000 to 2010 vibes. Avisus, uh, what else? Like this. A, like, a true religion with like, the big patches. The kind of like the, the Western kind of... Um, what do they call it? Like the, the Western kind of New Age Western, like basically like this. The denim where you put the prints on them. This is a really good size as well. Let's look at it. Corseted style denim. Denim. Denim, denim, denim. We love denim. Yep. Um, 
overwork. We weren't mad at denim actually, it was strange, I didn't it? We love denim. It's hard wear it, lasts forever. So that's how the best condition piece is are denim. I agree. Um denim. Look at it. Roberto Gavali, another great piece. These need work, but I was never gonna leave them. They're coming home with me. These is the oldest Versace label that you can get. This is the OG. This is the day one baby, 1970s. Look at it. Giovanni Versace. She she has had an accident. Look at it. Look, bring once back, again, though, shape, once again, it's a hundred percent storage mark. It's well, not yeah, like pee pee. These Who's are a pair. There? These are a pair of wide leg pleated white shorts with like the paper bag. I don't know if you can see the pleat. Oh yeah. my god! It's gorgeous. Um, if I can get them right as rain, there's a little mark about that as well. If I can get them right as rain, um, three hundred to four hundred. Another Jean Paul Gaultier piece. Like guys, these are bangers. Uh, black. What was it? JPG, man. JPG. Lovely Sorry. little logo there. Once again, like a, kind of like a, a lycra style, almost like a skater dress vibe. Uh, just a really nice piece, ruched in the corners. Mm -hmm. fi we all find a lot about the Jean Paul Gaultier stuff as well. It'll look very simple in the silhouette and so you start to look into it and you'll see the details and where the manufacturer has kind of gone a bit crazy. And that's the styles. I'm going to remind you once again, at 45 minutes in, this was hand picked wholesale. They were just waiting for us. This was hand-picked wholesale. We just walked in, picked ourselves. This is special. Why is it special? you got five seconds to answer. It's Tom Ford, baby. It's Tom Ford. Um, I have multiple skirts from this collection. I don't have this one. I have the shorts. Um, you actually have the other the denim version, the pink yeah. one as well. It's got a full zip down the side. Um, it's Look. a pencil skirt. No zip, no front, no pockets. Flip it on the back. <laughs> Once again, one piece of denim. No pockets, no pockets, no anything. But uh, and basically, you have the full zip. Show the side there. So you learn to recognise attributes of different seasons from different brands. Um, so I knew this instantly because I have other pieces from the collection. But this label, combined with this back patch, this is Tom Ford. This is four to five hundred pound uh, from the late nineties. And that will just, like I say, that will just sit and wait. This is specialist. Until someone wants it. And am, buys I, it. am I saying that someone hasn't sold this for 100, 200 pounds? No. Probably. But did they know what it was? Probably not. Never mind. Any of these things now, I mean, it's within your power to find any of these in a charity shop or at a boot sale because these things, however however uh, small the numbers are, they are mass produced in some way or another. So you can find them for cheaper and you can sell them for cheaper. That doesn't mean you can't make more, though. That's the other thing. We've said that before. Uh, vintage uh, wire salives in a row. This is a uh, diffusion of uh, men's, just a really, really nice sweater in like like new condition. The colors are still vibrant, I the green, there's no bobbling. I sold a Dior version of this one that was so, so similar, Ferro Dior. I sold it to a doctor. Doctor Who? 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 Doctor Who? Doctor Who? Doctor Who? The best one of recent times. Um, who? Client confidentiality. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we didn't say anyone. I sold that Ooh. for 300 so I reckon I could do the same on this. Fendimis, Fendi, I can't say it. Fen, Fendi Missy. Fendi, Fendi Missy. This is a range from Fendi um, 80s, 70s, but earlier than that, actually. Um, and it's got the Fendi Missy uh, lifeboat. It's a it's a red skater dress. Look at it. Look at this brand. Look Can at this brand. It? Yes. It's got a little bit of fade, like a tiny bit of fade due to age. It's so cool. Uh, but it's a button down piece. Um, I, it actually of, has a belt as well, the belt in the pocket. Yeah, some of the pieces I've seen from this range, like t-shirts and things, go for about 100 to 200. This is a full skater dress, so I'm going to aim for free. I will say, I've seen many of these labels, as in the Fendi variations. I've never seen this one. I've seen it online, and so I've never seen it in real life, never got it. So happy to kind of knock that one off our list as well. This is uh, Vintage Iceberg Jeans, once again. Guys, look at this. We're back with a bang, our video, guys. Look at this. Yeah. Iceberg jeans, 80s dress. I oh, sold uh, Yves Saint Laurent in the same shape. That sold for 350 There you go. Uh, iceberg with the denim, with like a lot of the iceberg pieces, unless they're collector's pieces, they're, they're not all worth a huge, a, like massive money. However, they're denim. Dolce & Gabbana. It's a knit vest. Little black knit vest. Party on the bottom. Dolce & Gabbana all the way round. Smells exceptional, weirdly enough. It's 100% wool. Obviously, look out for holes, any look mock wear. Look at this, the bottom. Yeah, you just yeah. see. Like, look at the hem. Dolce & Gabbana all the way around. These sell for about 250 
This is an Alexander McQueen piece. Obviously, we also have to put all the laundry into this. We have to put all the time for listing, the customer care, etc., so on and so forth. So it's not like instant like, no, money. No, no, no. Here's graft. Uh, this Alexander McQueen piece, uh, guys, just for anyone who knows, like obviously you see the MCQ there. This is an MCQ piece. This we've said this before. This is Alexander McQueen, MCQ the, the kind of the the brand in which you see a lot in kind of TK Maxx and stuff like that. This isn't the same thing. That was his logo uh, kind of when he first initially came out with anything from Alexander McQueen. So although there are MCQ pieces which are lower value and still very nice pieces, this, this is this is a full. Alexander McQueen piece and look at it. We've had a dress which was a, a, a dress version of the similar print and that went for like what three and a, two and a half hundred quid. What the dress go for? One listed for nine. No, not that one. The one which is this. That, that's the um, five. Oh, five. Okay, four, four and a half was it? Okay, my bad. Either way, massive, massive money. Made in Rovania, which is ironic for this piece. It's a blazer jacket. Can you see them? Louis Vuitton. This is Louis Vuitton, however, this is a slightly different piece. It's a wicked colour too. I love the blue and the silver. Once again, this this is the silver, and then you just showed these, but they're beautiful buttons. This is you can see that. This is uniform. So this would be this is actually technically not for resale, but depends on where you sell it. Um this is a uniform piece that would have been given as as uniform to all employees. They go for about two hundred. Once again, think about that, a uniform. And most of the time, it's harder to sell these pieces unless you have clients kind of lined up for them or you sell on certain sites because as much as it's uh, official a Louis Vuitton item, because they don't class it as something they ever sold, this has never been sold anywhere. It's been given to staff members. It's harder to sell. I want to try this one on too. Uh, this is a Masoni Sport, like an absolute vintage 80s banger, sweater vest, sweater, I guess sweater vest, but button up. These buttons are like, God, it's a can even. It also gives me Coogee vibes, as much as kind of the zigzaggy as Masoni all day but long. But also this style is well in, like the, the sleeveless sweater Grand vest, vibes. Uh, yeah, waistcoats, with you. Um, 200. This is beautiful, you want to do this? Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Tricot, which is a sweater or jumper or knit. Cable knit in the red, and then it's going to show the patch. Hit them with the YSL guys. It's just beautiful. It's K1 knit in great condition. No holes, rips or tears. It's just a really nice thing. K1 knit. And I think that, to me, that's that stealth wealth vibe. Oh, it's beautiful. You it know? will go to someone who like, likes... Um, it's beautiful. Or a pillow or... Something like that elk. Look at the, look at the vibrancy. Yeah. I don't know how old this is. Let's find it together. Hand rolled, 100% silk. Here we go. 80s Giovanni Versace. These go for two hundred pounds. And people are wearing scarves so differently now. Top, whoop! You can wear it on your head. You know, like this. not necessarily over hat. You can if you want to. <laughs> two hundred. There you go. This one. Talking of scarves, we also got a lovely. Oh, this would be nice. Fendi Zucker print vibe. Zucker print invented by Karl Lagerfeld. When he designed for Karl Lagerfeld, creative director of Fendi Women's Wear at the moment is Kim Jones of Dior. It's actually a sequin and print. I don't know if you can see. A hundred percent silk, um, two thousands label in the silk print two hundred. Real nice thing. So we have a bunch of ties. I won't, I won't take too long with these. This is a uh, vintage Saint Laurent. How much? Uh, Forty pounds each. Uh, this is a uh, vintage Masoni, which is cool about this is almost like a wool knit vibe. Once again, they're known for that. You have a real kind of casual Dolce & Gabbana brown with the real nice lining. We have the Moschino Couture. It's a Moschino cravat, my bad. Cravat meaning cravat tie, whatever you will. You will Moschino all over print. And then you have this, which is kind of like, if you can guess from these little uh, horse bits, Celine. Right, then we've got a load of jeans. Let's talk about these then. These are Levi's. But these are different Levi's. These are 1999 over engineered. What are they called? Engineered? engineered no, J. J. E. G. No. What do you, I don't know what you mean. Over engineered. What's special name? Okay, these are the, once again, these are engineered. So these, for example, don't have a back pocket. The pockets are lower. <laughs> they have the ghost tab here. They have redone these. I actually have a pair of the redone versions and they have a red tab, a, red, a whole red logo here. Um, the ghosted ones are the ones from the 90s. They haven't released them since. Um, not, I'm not saying all ghosted tabs are from the um, late 90s, early 2000s. What I'm saying is the engineered versions of these jeans are. So they're a wicked, wicked shape. They also did the legs. Look at these cuffs. 
yeah we have loads of them and they basically were made as workwear you could also turn these up and they made them as turn ups so the cuffs were actually kind of created that way they got one one two three three four and these are special five pairs these are slightly different we've still got to look these ones up let's be honest these um, are a real special one. These are, these are early 90s, this uh, is early Levi's, 2000s as well. Over engineered, but they've got a buckle back design on them. Um, and the ghost, they got the ghost patch. So we have to look those ones up. They're from the same era. It's just these are ones I'm 100% okay with. But these are real, real nice. And once again, the buckle back, for anyone who doesn't know, it's the way to kind of cinch in. You undo those. And you can cinch in the back without using a belt. And this is a newer version. This is a newer version, engineered jeans with the ghost patch. That actually goes with the denim jacket we showed you originally, the kind so of the overworked version, yeah. Um, so they they go for £100 a piece. Yep. Uh, the skirt less, maybe 40 Yep. Uh, but they go to £100 a piece. Now, star piece, right? So yep. noted from the beginning, we pay thousands. Yep. So we do pay thousands. Uh, return, I'm hoping for plus 10000 um, I would, on I would, average, I would guess, yeah, I would guess between eight and ten thousand for the lot. Yeah, based on, based on taking offers lowest price. Yeah, whatever. I would, I would take no less than and eight thousand. That's not going to happen tomorrow. I'm not going to put it on the internet and it's all going to sell no. tomorrow. And I'm going to have ten thousand pounds just to clarify. It will drip and drab throughout the year. And for anyone, for anyone who's like trying to kind of kind of second guess or whatever, please count every single item. Like it's, that's not hard to do. You know what I mean? On average, when we have things like this in the, in the, I'm gonna put on the hang because this deserves a hanger. We've um, and plus we've already sold two things which I haven't put in. We put them on whatnot <laughs> sold and we sold two things already. Shut on whatnot. If there's anything you want to see on a whatnot show, minus this dress I'm about to show you, uh, put it down Maybe below. We'll start future. it at a pound. Yeah, let us know. If there's anything you've seen also that you really like or you think you you need in your life, message us. Um, you can buy from us straight away if you choose, and we can put on through whatnot, or we can uh, put it through a sale. Spring, whatever. summer, runway. Spring, summer, runway. Let's see if they can guess who this is. This, right. this came from hand hand picked wholesale. Could you not? Like guys, I can't even talk to you. Look at these arms. 2014 spring, summer, runway. Pictured on the runway. I have the runway picture. Reveal. This is Rick Owen. Rick Owens, retail on this would have been well or close to 10,000. Yep. Uh, this is runway also. There are none sold, there are none listed, there are none available for sale. To give you an idea, there was a skirt um, which wasn't on runway, which was kind of like a um, from the same collection but wasn't on part of the runway deal, which this was actually. I'll actually put the picture of the runway uh, model up as well yeah, on yeah. here now. Um, and the skirt we used went for, I think it was 2,500. Mm. Bear in mind, this is the runway piece the runway piece as in not the piece which is walked down the runway but the runway pieces they make so minimal of there's not a lot of these out there it's correct yeah we're gonna list for a grand or leather or leather and we're listing yeah, for okay. a grand for a fairly speedy sale that'll go quick mm. that'll go really quick um the thing is these can and these will go you just don't see it like there's certain there's certain items which like i said maybe you'll take an offer on maybe you'll lower the price slightly whatever it might be this thing, I'll just sit there. I'll happily sit there because eventually someone will come to their sense and understand how much this was resale, uh, retail and how rare it is and they'll buy it. I would actually, I, if, as soon as we sell this, I'll put up a... Um, oh yeah, we're doing Instagram. I'll, I'll put up an Instagram video. post, but I'll also do a video on how quickly it's sold because I kind of want to know. So I wanna get, I, we're going to price it fairly, which a £1,000 is is actually really fair. Mm -hmm. Probably a little more initially, maybe 1200 yeah. And then we'll go from there. But Rick, yeah, Rick Owens, guys, I'll put... Some pictures up to let you know. Tell us your favourite piece down below. Um, one hour video, so I'm sorry if you like haven't missed us that much um, and you've actually stuck your way through or watch it in bits or speed it up. I know someone who speeds us up and listens to us fast. Um, that's know, fast, that's too fast. I know, I know we talk fast. I, I, we'll try and put some label pictures of labels in. We'll put the runway picture up for you. Um, wholesale, that is the first time we've ever done luxury wholesale. Um, and what do you think of it? What, what's your what's your what's your thought? Um, this is Italian brands and a few a, few, a sprinkle of others. French, yeah. Um, so the it, it was limited in terms of variety. Yeah, brand wise. Not like I'm saying there wasn't like Izzy Miyake. There wasn't no. you know Japanese designers. There wasn't French designers. You know etc. I agree. 
um however i know they get different stuff in all the time so we just keep keep it up um quality obviously always be due diligent we're big like pickers diggers hunters barners I, i'm gonna like, say so we, we weren't afraid of that no i'm gonna say as well we picked not only this some of the best products for us and for how we, how we run the business but also um quality wise there was a lot there which i wouldn't have had i'll be really honest yeah, yeah. um so and that's not to dig uh, the place we you know where we got it out but I'm, I'm just saying, like anywhere... No, it's any wholesale would have Any that. wholesale, I'm saying. That's the whole point of wholesale. It's not a brand new retail store. You don't expect it to be. You don't expect it to be new tags. And if, you don't, if you're not having the digger mentality, I think probably it's not for you in that they respect. They do grade it. They do grade it. They so do, yes. it's up to you to obviously decide what you want for your business. And you pay for that also then, no? But yeah, it's reflected in how much you pay, obviously. Yeah. When it comes to designer, obviously it's a bit more expensive than if you went and just picked vintage T-shirts and uh, vintage jumpers. However, their selection of vintage and y2k was exceptional i'd also um, say i think uh, is uh, partly why i wanted to do this and also make a video on it was um obviously if you if you guys have watched us this far you know we like love fashion fashion's our thing um and we eat sleep breathe it i wanted to see what we could get re relevant of the cost with, with all due respect i mean we could like we can sell this stuff you know and make a, a great 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 profit right but i wanted to see what we could find as regards uh, items the rick owens blew me out the water i've got to be honest i didn't expect to find that there at all did you you know what i mean not in a million years um there were certain other pieces just age wise which i've never found so for me it was kind of like a um kind of a goal to find so i think there's a lot of different things i can say about it and it, it was overall a great experience i enjoyed it yeah, it was great. And if you're into vintage and stuff, it's a great place. We're not going to say a place at the moment because obviously... Um... Well, this wasn't sponsored. And to be fair, I, I, I wanted to give my honest opinion without having to be kind of, well, I can't say this or I can't say that. Yeah, but um, you know? I'm sure we're going to go back. So maybe in the future then, you know... Yeah, maybe we will. That was wholesale with the luxury pickers. A bit different from like your average just buying a box for 400 quid, but... Um, I wanted to show the other side of wholesale where people are literally are spending thousands of pounds and getting creme de la creme product um, and um, the difference between that and like managing your expectations if you're looking at wholesale and you get a box and it's like just like Adidas with holes in. Um, yeah, find think, the right place for you. I think it can. I think it can be could be very overwhelming very quickly. Like a few times we kind of look at each other and say there's just so much. There's yeah. mass. Um, and and there was um by the same token we had a cut off time wise in our head we we you know so we, we thought to ourselves let's do it let's go there and let's experience it and i would say enjoyed the experience um product was great massive money to be made what i would say is if you're looking for that go and spend 100 200 quid like you're not going to come away with much you're i'll be honest with you um but then i guess what do you expect they are they are it's not a charity shop and it's not a boot sale where people don't really know what they're selling or maybe you're looking to kind of as people like to say catch them slipping they're aware of what they have. I just want to buy it at a competitive price, so the point and I can bulk. I can in bulk, so I can uh, it makes me my, my worth my while and to then resell it on. Yeah. So, like you said, Bethany said, if there's anything you really enjoyed or liked in this video, let us know in the comments. And actually, even if you, even if you're not necessarily yeah. interested in buying, let us know what your favorite piece was, like if, if your brand, uh, and any other questions you have about this, because we can do a kind of we can, maybe we'll do a, a catch up video when we sold a couple items and, and see what we can say. Apart from you and that beautiful scarf. Um, and we do have some Brighton videos, I think, in the bank. So we will upload them. They're a bit late, but we'll upload them. Someone did. Someone actually made a comment, I think, yesterday the day before. So I apologise. They said, where's the next video? Because we were doing two parts and the, two, the second part never came. It's in the bank. I promise I'll release it in the next one or two videos. It'll be there for you, I promise. We Love appreciate you, you watching as always. Love you. Bye. Bye. I've forgotten how to turn it off. Switch it off, Daniel. <laughs>